Hello everyone. Now let's talk about part 3C qualitative risk analysis versus quantitative risk analysis. Now there is only one question um, in your QA database on this particular topic but again it's a very important topic to understand. So first we'll understand the concept and then we will see that one question which is a very easy question in your QAE. Right? So let's understand this topic. As we have already discussed earlier that risk is equal to probability into impact. Risk is equal to probability into the consequences, into the impact. And when I say impact, when I say impact, impact could be a positive event as well as a negative event. We generally associate risk with negative event. We generally account for negative events. When we say the word risk, we generally account for the negative events. But the impact can also be sometimes a positive event, right? So when I say impact, when I say consequences, consequences can also be a positive event or sometimes it could be even a negative event. But we generally associate it as a negative event, right? Now, now let's understand the qualitative risk and the quantitative risk with the help of an example. Now read this example carefully. Mr. Harold will fall sick one week before CIS exams, CISA exams and won't be able to revise the concept. Mr. Harold will fall sick just one week before the CISA exams and won't be able to revise the concepts. Now, what is the probability? The probability is most likely because he always consumes junk food. If suppose for example Mr. Harold, he always consumes junk food, uh, you know, it's most likely that he, he might fall sick one week before the exams and it could impact his exams, right? So here the probability is most likely and when we say the impact, the impact is he won't be able to clear the CISA exams and the impact is high and severe impact. Now understand the example given in the quantitative risk. Since he won't clear the CISA exam, he will not get his promotion and will lose the opportunity of an increment of 20,000 US dollars in his income. So the probability is, let's say we say the probability is 60% and the impact is 20,000 US dollar which he lose an opportunity of an increment. So the impact is 20,000 US dollars and the probability is 60%. So the risk is probability into impact. 60% into 20,000 US dollars which comes to 12,000 US dollars. Now when we compare the two examples, we need to understand that the qualitative risk analysis was not expressed in mathematical term. When I say, when I say that Mr. Harold will fall sick one week before the CISA exams and won't be able to revise the concept and the probability is most likely because he normally consumes junk food so he won't be able to clear the CISA exam which will have a high impact. We say we are not expressing in mathematical terms. We are generally expressing it as a high, medium or low risk. But when I quantify the risk, but when I quantify the risk in numerical terms, when I say, okay, 60% is the probability and impact could be the 20,000 US dollars. So risk is 60% into 20,000 which, which comes to 12,000 US dollars. Now this is expressed in mathematical terms. We are objectively evaluating the risk in numerical terms. So what happens is, let's look at the process of risk analysis. First we maintain a risk register where we will perform qualitative risk analysis. Right? Where we will perform qualitative risk analysis where the risks are not expressed in mathematical terms. Right? And when we feel that a particular risk has a high impact, it's a high risk, 
when we feel that a particular event has a high risk we will select those high risk rating items for further quantitative risk analysis so the first thing is we'll perform always the qualitative risk analysis and only the high risk rated items would be selected out of perform the out of, out of performing the qualitative risk analysis only the high risk rated items will be selected and will be further computed for quantitative risk analysis where we will quantify the risk in in numerical terms right so this is the process